the third, third behind two other cross riders. So cross, cycle cross riders have reigned supreme today. Yeah, definitely. All from a garden shed as well. I mean, it shows that we've got a decent yeah. quality up in the cyclocross. So yeah, it definitely helps on this course as well, being quite uh, quite punchy. Yeah. So definitely suited the cross riders. Well, you're still a junior. Obviously, third last week at uh, at the Sigma Classic. Uh, how did you find racing with the seniors? Yeah, today I remember looking at the start list before, and and, and the field's pretty stacked to be honest. So I just I didn't really know what I was doing coming into it. I just thought I'd sit in and like scope out the field, and um, it was it was really hard actually. Just like every lap for the first half of the race, it was just really intense. Start, started to back off, and people started to drop off, and then that's when the race started to split up a bit. Yeah. And um, all the uh, all the really strong guys who'd sort of saved themselves a little bit, all came through to the front, and that's when that's when like the winning move went really. So. Well, I was watching all these moves go. Uh, it must be in, actually if you're actually in the race. It must be difficult to know which which one do I go with. Yeah, especially at the end there, on where this it course. Was... Yeah, on this course, nothing was going at all, and then just one lap, everything blew up, and there was just people like left, right, and centre, you know. Yeah. And uh, coming to the last two laps, I knew the guys to follow. Obviously, Toby won it last year, Jensen as well, both yeah. on my cross team, and um, I knew the strong guy, so I just had to get on them. They towed me pretty much straight to the front, and, and then you again, finished the with a very lap. strong guy and Jim Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's one he's one he's one in Europe and all sorts. Yeah, when um when Toby and Jensen went, me and Jim just couldn't really get stay with their acceleration over the top of the climb. Yeah. So me and him were working together, but I had to do more like the brunt of the work because he said his just legs weren't on it today. Yeah. So he said because of that he just let us have third because I know I wouldn't <laughs> be out sprinting him anytime soon. Yeah. So what have you got now? Uh, you got much much coming up? Uh, I'm out to Mallorca. Um, next week and then after that I think I've got E3 coming up, E3 and then a couple more in international races before a little break again. What are they like the international races? Oh, Because you've it's done international mental. cross. Yeah, yeah, it's completely different to cross really. Yeah. Um, I mean everything's still, in t it's still intense and it's still a completely different level. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just it's difficult. A lot like more wheels to follow, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more wheels, and there's just so many strong guys. Like the depth of the depth of the quality of the field is like yeah. it's insane. So yeah. just getting a top ten over there is something crazy, and that's probably my aim for. I just want to put a little thing out there. As a, as the British Junior Cyclocross Champion, is the Junior Road Championship a goal? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Road and TT coming up soon. Well, oh, in July, they're yeah. definitely a goal for me, and. Uh, Adding another set of bands to the collection would be, be pretty nice. Well, there's obviously a lot of competition for you, but as there is in cross, but uh, but you've shown that you can. Well, you outdone the other two six guys uh, yeah. today, so uh, <laughs> you got your revenge. Yeah, yeah, I felt good today, and uh, everything came together pretty well. All right, well done.